boom, that fits perfectly. That fits. I'll have this and this. Do I need this crochet dress? You know, just shove it in there. Oatmeal. Oatmeal. Khaki. But khaki, khaki can be for the fun stuff. Ugh. What does it say? 55. <gasps> no! Hey guys, what's up? It's Raven and... Saya. And tomorrow we are actually flying out to... Mexico. We are meeting Grammy and Papa, my parents there. They're actually spending the whole month in Mexico, but we're meeting them for a week and we leave tomorrow. So yes, we are packing a little bit last minute, but we've just been super busy. But I'm gonna stay for eight days. You're gonna stay for five days. But those last three days, just me, Grammy and Papa. Yes, are you excited? So we're gonna start with packing Zaya's stuff first. If you guys didn't see the other packing video that we did with Zaya, we broke it all down in that video. We're gonna be doing a similar process, but... For Mexico. <laughs> but we're actually not gonna be using Zaya's little suitcase this time. I'm actually just gonna be taking my large size suitcase and putting all of our stuff into there. So we don't need this. <laughs> actually, side note, this is the first time that Zaya and I are, yeah, I think this is the first time Zaya and I are traveling, like flying just me and you together, right? No. When else have we done that? Just me and you. I think when we went to Disney or something. Did just me and you go to Disney or did somebody else come with us? Grammy. Yeah, a lot of times when we travel, Grammy and Papa are with us. I'm pretty sure, unless there's something I'm not remembering, but I'm pretty sure this is the first time that Zaya and I are flying out just us two. So since it is gonna be just me and her, I wanna consolidate everything as much as possible. Only having one suitcase, I think is gonna be helpful. That way we don't have to worry about Zaya's other bag and stuff like that. Okay, so we have Zaya's set of packing cubes, which we used in the last video. We're definitely gonna utilize these. We also have her little travel backpack. That Grammy customized. So this is gonna be her little personal item carry-on to put all her activities in. We're gonna do that in a minute. We also have your little travel pillow, which might be nice to bring. Yeah, that Grammy got me. In case you wanna hey, that's mine. take a you nap on the plane. Own. Yes, I do have my own. Um, so Beautiful. this is a beach vacation. So obviously we need to pack accordingly. For beach weather, we need swimsuits, we need the sun hats, we need all those things. So this is different type of stuff than what we packed when you went to Boston. Cause for Boston, we were kind of packing for like cold weather, but now we're packing for the beach. So what do you think we should start with? I think we should start with the swimsuits. Okay, we can start with the swimsuits and maybe we will put your swimsuits in one of these smaller packing cubes. Let's see. And then... This one. Sure. You're staying for eight days. You don't need eight swimsuits because you can still, you know, wear the same swimsuit so over again. So probably need like three swimsuits. I would say, yeah, at least three would be a good number. Does that one fit you the best though? Let's think about which ones fit the best too. Remember we tried them all on and made sure the other day. So do you remember which ones fit the best? We never tried on this one but we know because you had it on the other day and it's a little baggy, so I wouldn't bring that one. Yeah. Okay, so these are your choices. The mermaid set with the little mermaid overskirt. This one that's like an all-in-one dress. And then this little two-piece that also has a long sleeve, like rash guard swim shirt over it, which will be nice in case you wanna protect your shoulders and arms a little bit. So I feel like that's a good variety of swimsuits. You could bring one more maybe. Is yeah. there another one you wanna bring? No. Okay. Now, while we got this drawer open, we should go ahead and pack your undies and if you think you're gonna need any socks. You only bring socks if you're gonna bring your sneakers. But you might wanna bring, or you think you're gonna be okay wearing sandals the whole time. Think about what's gonna be comfortable and what you actually like to wear. Sometimes I don't wear socks with sneakers. But you should. Do you plan on bringing your sneakers, yes or no? Yeah. Then you should bring some socks. Can you roll them together so we know that they go together? and we have a pair like this. The openings together, you take one opening, flip it over both. I'm opening it and I'm tucking, you see what I'm doing? Tuck the blue one inside the pink one. Now underwear, if you're gonna be there for eight days, how many underwears do you think you need? Five. Five? <laughs> 10. You need underwear for every single day. Clean underwear for every day. What if they have a laundry room in the hotel? We're not gonna be doing laundry. 
Do we ever do laundry in hotels? That's not what vacation is for, doing laundry. Nobody Nine, wants to do laundry. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We don't even have enough underwear. <laughs> I will have to check our actual laundry, speaking of laundry, to get the rest of your undies out to pack. But this is, this is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is eight. What? So I think we're good. We got socks, we got swimsuits. That's everything out of this drawer. Now, while we're here, what else should we grab from that drawer? Pajamas. Okay. For pajamas, you probably only need two sets of pajamas. Just in case something happens to the first set. I'm gonna pack this mermaid swimsuit because we're going to Mexico and I think it'll match with the beach. Okay, good idea. Yeah. And then we actually have your new nightgown. Kindness is always a mood. So we got your new nightgown and you got your mermaid nightgown. That'll be good for pajamas. Also from Walmart, we got these sandals, cute and sparkly. Also update, just since like our last video, Zaya has gone up another shoe size. She is now wearing size two. You are growing extremely fast. So we got these sandals and we got two pairs of shorts. We got these pink ones and these white ones. Is that white? Beige ones. Okay. So we'll pack these because these will be good. Well, it's like a whitish beige. Why this? I think they call this beige white oatmeal. Oatmeal. It's kind of the color of oatmeal. Khaki. But khaki, khaki can be. Sometimes when people say khaki, they mean green. But I never know. So we have all your little packing cubes. What should we use the smallest one for? What is your smallest clothing? Panties. Yeah. Okay. So let's put your underwear and socks in this one. Then we only need a small one for swimsuits. This is really for shoes. So how should we do this? Maybe this one for swimsuits? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, boom, that fits perfectly. Three swimsuits. You wanna zip it? Perfect. And then we have pajamas, which I guess we can put pajamas in their own. Marking down the stuff we have. <laughs> you are so When can silly. I mark down the stuff that I know we I have? I asked you what you were doing with that before we started the video, and you said nothing. <laughs> I was trying to draw something. I think we could give your pajamas their own little pouch, although it's only little, you know, two little nightgowns. Might as well utilize it. And then we have the two kind of larger size cubes left over. These are the pants and these are the shirts. Okay, that's a good idea. We could separate it into tops and bottoms maybe. So, so far for bottoms, we have your two new shorts. Um, but if we're gonna, if you're gonna be there for eight days, you need a lot more than just two shorts, right? You're gonna want mostly shorts and stuff because it's gonna be so hot there. I like skirt shorts, no leggings, unless we're like inside. Yeah, I mean, I would bring maybe like one pair of leggings like or long pants, but mostly this, short stuff. The ones Grammy got me, skirt. So far we got two skirts, one two pair of leggings, skirts. and then what else? We have more skirts and shorts here anyway. So which things do you think would be perfect for Mexico? This that one. one, I think that's a good choice. Cause it looks kind of beachy. Yeah. This one. And that one, okay. And then while we're in here, I think these two shirts, cause they go with these skirts. Can I bring the shirt um, that Grammy got me from the Cayman Islands? The Cayman she, Islands? Yeah, that when Grammy and Papa went away. Yeah, it's got a little beach motif on it. Has little flip flops. Is that a seashell or a paw print on the flip flops? Probably a seashell. Any other shirts? But let's keep in mind what bottoms we need to match it with. This one. Because I never wore and I have no idea that you even bought that. I think it was a birthday present from somebody else, actually. Okay, can you match up everything into outfits? Like which yeah. top goes with which bottom? Let's start with this one and this one. Okay. I'm 
I'm saying? We didn't get enough shirts out. That's fine, lay it out, but let's go find a shirt for it. This one. This one and this one. No. This one. This and this goes together? Yes. Okay, so then for this, how about one of these? The pink? Yes. Okay. How many outfits do we have so far? One. Twenty. Two. Three. Four. Five. Well, that's twenty. No, it's five. And then we need a shirt to go with the, this. We said these are going to go together. We put these. So let's just go ahead and lay these out. So this is five. Then we have six. And seven. And we just need a shirt to go with these shorts. See, this one's fine, because it okay. matches with this color. It matches, but you don't always have to wear the same color on the top and the bottom. Well, it's not like really the same color. Okay, is that what you want? Is that what you think looks best? Yes. Even besides this brand new beautiful shirt that you've never worn? No. That's eight outfits. Now, you are gonna need some extras because we need your extra outfit that we always pack for the plane. So you need one more for that. And I think it would be best to pack nine outfits because you, when you go swimming and stuff, you end up changing your clothes. Like you need a good amount of stuff for eight days. A couple of extra shirts. So we need emergency outfit, airplane outfit, extra outfit. What do you want to wear on the airplane? This? Yes. Okay, that's good because it's leggings because it does tend to be cold in the airport and on the airplane. So we'll do that for your airplane outfit. Let's set that aside on top of your dresser. So, so we have it for tomorrow. tomorrow morning. Yes, exactly. We're at 9 p.m. And then for your emergency outfit, which shirt do you want to do? Okay, and then what pants can we put with that? Okay, we're gonna set this aside. So do you think we should separate it into tops and bottoms like we said, or do you think it might be better to keep the outfits together that way you don't have to like go back and put the outfits back together? Mm, separate them. You wanna separate them? So here's all the shirts and here's all the bottoms, but we want them to be nicely put in there. We don't just wanna like, crumple them up because then they'll be super wrinkled when you take it out. So do you remember how to fold a shirt? Yeah. And the cube will help it actually stay like that in the suitcase. You see how I lined mine up so you can see everything? It, and it fits better. Like that. Okay, now zip it. Perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, next. Shoes and baby doll. <laughs> shoes and baby doll, the two priorities. So we know we have your new shoes. In the last packing video, you guys were very concerned that we didn't pack any shoes, but that was because she was only gonna use the one pair of shoes that she was wearing on her feet. But for this trip, we are gonna bring more than one pair. Those are her old faithful. <laughs> Maybe don't put them on your bed because they're very dirty. So you said you were gonna bring those. That's why we packed socks. Those are probably the ones that you're gonna wear to the airport, right? So let's sit those aside to go with your airport outfit. And then we're packing these, right? the new ones and then what other sandals can we pack jellies um sure if you want to bring your jellies and then i would also grab your new black sandals and that should be all you need how all of these shoes gonna fit in this bag and do we have a bag for olivia they might not all fit in here they might <laughs> These are brand new shoes, but usually putting your shoes in a case like this is helpful when they're not brand new, because they might be dirty. And you don't want your dirty shoes bumping up against all your clothes and stuff, so it's nice to put them in a bag, but literally all these shoes are new, so it doesn't matter as much. She's gonna be wearing her dirty shoes. This fits two pairs of her shoes nicely. These don't fit, but like I said, since they're clean, I think they'll be okay to just be loose in the suitcase.
So we've got all your main stuff in the packing cubes. That's gonna go in my suitcase. I know we still need to pack your like carry-on bag with your activities and the baby doll stuff. Don't worry, we are gonna get the baby doll stuff. We have your airport outfit ready to go, emergency outfit that's gonna go in your little backpack, but something else you have, since we're going to the beach, few things. You have a couple of beach hats. You have your visor. You have this new one that actually goes with this cute beach bag that you got for your birthday, right? Yeah. And then you also have this one, which has a spot to like stick your ponytail through it. Uh, so which hat do you want to bring? Because I think you only need one. Maybe two. Those two. And then I do think it would be nice to bring this beach bag because you might want to like pack up your baby doll stuff and take it with you to the beach or the pool. And it'd be nice to have your own bag to do that with. Yeah, in case she's hungry, I can pack a little snack and a bottle. Yeah, all your... she's only two, so of course she needs a bottle. Of course. So have that. And then the other stuff we have in here are your like headscarf bonnet stuff since you have your hair braided. Looking good, Zaya. Are you excited? The beads are the best part, huh? What's Mexico colors? Beachy colors. Oh, like maybe this one. This one. This one. We don't want it to get all fuzzy and messed up and have to do it again. Um, so I think we should bring, they both work kind of this, maybe the bonnet. What do you that think? bothers my ears a lot. You prefer wearing the scarf? Yeah. Okay, we'll do the scarf. This is a little bag we have her pajamas in. I'm gonna put her head scarf in there because that goes with that category. Beach bag and the hats, I think are kind of just their own little thing. Now, for the fun stuff. So for your fun stuff, for your backpack, this is gonna be the stuff that um, you wanna play with and use on the plane. And also I think we'll try to fit your baby doll stuff in here too. We also wanna bring like your iPad and everything like before. So we've got your little games in here. You got a couple of pens and pencils. You've got your activity pads and little books in here. So I think that's good to go. You have a couple of markers, but I think you need more markers and stuff to pack in yeah, here. Yeah, because those are, um, like washable magic ink markers to this. They can only work on that. Okay. If you draw on something else, it'll just be white. Okay, so we need to pack your normal markers. Can you grab those? Probably just these. I don't think we need the little baby ones. We also don't have space. So here we have all the different kinds of markers. Here we have card games, some pens and pencils, and then here we have all the little activity books and regular reading books. Okay, you remember how to close it up? Yep. Boom. So that's the first biggest thing that we have to fit in here. Perfect. The next thing is your iPad. And we're gonna download some stuff in here because all there is is undownloaded games and the learning app. We need to download some more games for you to play. And some YouTube. And some YouTube. <laughs> iPad goes in. Um, I think we decided last time that it was easier to just wear your headphones. Hmm. I mean, I guess we could put them in here. That fits. Since I'm bringing my own bag, you can put some stuff in my bag. So like your emergency clothes, the snacks that we normally bring, some of that other stuff that was taking up space in your bag before, I'll actually put it in my bag. So for your bag, you can use the leftover space for your baby doll stuff. But of course this is your space. So you gotta be, you know, mindful of what you can fit in here. So first I'm gonna pack, even though Sherry has this pacifier, just in case I'm gonna pack an emergency one. Emergency now, backup pacifier. 
because she loves pacifiers and if she doesn't bring two pairs, she's gonna get crazy wild. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna pack a regular baby life diaper, this cloth diaper. And then next, I'm gonna pack this avocado outfit. That's perfect for Mexico, because you know where avocados are from? Mexico. Yep. Her blanket, her swimsuit. Definitely need that for a beach vacation. For toiletry, you need lotion, diaper cream, nail clippers. And wipes. Pink monkey rattle. The teaser. Okay. I guess she'll just carry this one. Okay, so here's your bag. Make sure it's not too heavy for you, because remember, you gotta be the one carrying it. I can't carry it for you. I'm gonna be carrying my own stuff. It's so what do you think? Perfect. It's perfect? Okay. Okay, and I think that's all your stuff, right? We got all your clothes, yep. we got your okay. beach hats, we, we got, got your Olivia. bag. <laughs> we got Olivia stuff. Is that it, you think? Uh, Are we forgetting anything? Snacks. Snacks, but well, we'll do that later for my bag. Okay, so we got most of Zaya's stuff packed up. There's some last minute things that I'm gonna put in my little carry-on bag. We'll do that later, but for my stuff, if y'all watched my other other video where I was packing for my trip to Miami, I tried to take you guys through the whole process of what it normally looks like for me to get ready for a trip. But towards the end of that video, I was really rushing. So some of the last few things I was putting together, I didn't really get to show y'all in detail. And that includes my makeup. And some of you guys were asking about how I packed my makeup. So I wanna show you that. So I'm actually gonna start with that. And I'm showing you the real deal. This is what my makeup vanity tends to look like on a daily basis. It is quite difficult for me to keep it perfectly pristine and organized. Like I just use everything and then I put it down and then it's, it's functional surprisingly because I know where everything is for the most part. Um, but it definitely could be better. Maybe I'll do a separate video of like resetting this. But basically how I pack my makeup is in two bags. I have this big makeup bag, which has clearly been through a lot, but it still works. And then I also have this bag <laughs> right here, which is what I use for my brushes. This is um, something that NARS sent me in PR. So I'm not sure exactly if you can find the exact same thing, but it's just sort of like a more flat rectangular bag that's like the perfect size for brushes. And I've gotten pretty good at knowing exactly what I need to bring. I basically just pack like my go-to items of course. And then if there's like certain makeup looks that I know I wanna do on the trip, then obviously I'll pack the stuff that I need for that. There's a few makeup products, like little mini travel stuff and stuff that like I consider to be like my travel makeup that I always normally keep in here. So like I have like little mini sizes of some of my Fenty Beauty products, mini eyeliner. I have some like duplicates of stuff that I just always keep packed in here. And then beyond that, I go through my makeup steps in my head. So like think about you know, what step do I start with? Primer. So I'll just make sure that I have what I need for every step. So starting with primer, I use a primer spray. 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I'm gonna check my bag. I'm not just gonna do a carry-on. So that allows me to bring full size containers of stuff and not have to worry about like all the liquid restrictions, which is a lot better for me when I'm packing my makeup and toiletries because I don't like having to worry about that. So I'm just gonna bring like my whole bottle. So that's my primer step. After primer, I do like my base. So I have foundation and concealer. I have a lot of foundation type complexion products and I cycle through based on like how tan I am, you know, what's the occasion, a lot of different factors that go into it. So I'll just like, you know, have to evaluate what I actually need. I think for this trip, I'm going to do my more like lightweight glowy products cause it's like family vacay to the beach. I don't think I'm ever gonna do like a full face of full glam makeup. I'm probably gonna do more light looks. So I'll just bring the stuff that I need for that. And I'm gonna bring my darkest foundation shades because I'm already tan and I'm only gonna get tanner. Then for concealer, these are the concealers I've been using recently, these Lancome 
ones. So I'm gonna throw those in there. I have my cream contour that I always use. I have my liquid blush that I always use. So I'm just going through the steps in my head of like how I do my makeup. Okay, I think that's all my cream products. So then I think about, you know, next steps are like my powder products. So I have my powder foundations. I have my powder blushes and highlighters, powder bronzers. I'm gonna bring this loose setting powder. This is what I've been using recently, the Maybelline Fit Me loose powder. This other bronzer. For like eyes, lashes, eyebrows, I'm gonna be wearing my DIY lash extensions that I've always been doing recently. I've already got a set on now that should maybe last me for my whole trip, but also maybe not. So I like to bring the lashes and the glue and everything that I need for that with me. I could probably consolidate these three half used packs into like one pack to save space. These are all the same lash style, but I tend to like use up, does this come out? Depending on like what lash design or lash map, I guess is what you call it. I use different lengths at different frequencies. So there we go. Then I can maybe put it like this, ingenuity. Got the lashes. For the rest of that process, I need the bond and seal glue, the overnighter, overnighter, I don't know, like the other glue. There's two different types of tweezers that I use to put them on with. I'm gonna put that with my brushes though, but just so I make sure I have my glue. So that's lashes. Eyebrows, I basically have like a brow pen and a brow pencil that I normally use. Oh, and brow gel. For eyes, I'm not a big eyeshadow girl, just like anyway, I'm not one to just be doing a bunch of eyeshadow looks, but I always bring this Makeup by Mario palette. As you can see, it's well loved because it just has all the neutral shades that you need. And then I'll bring like one fun little palette. Yeah, like maybe this NARS palette, one of them fell out, but like something that has like some fun shimmer shades in it, just in case. I have a mascara in there already. So then that brings us to setting spray. I have this little mini bottle of the Urban Decay setting spray that I like. It's actually like empty because I used so much of it on my last trip, but I could just refill it. So I'm gonna take from my big bottle and refill the mini bottle. That way I could like, you know, save space in my bag. Don't do that. Okay, refill, not overfill. I don't know what happened to the lid for this, but it should be fine. So then that brings us to lip products, which I'm gonna do my little, my little lip plumper product. This is from Amazon. I have it linked in the description box. And then I'll do like a variety of lip liners, just like my favorite ones. I'm not planning on doing any specialty lip looks like a red lip or anything crazy on this trip. So I just need like my neutral nude stuff that I normally use. So I have a few go-to products that are all in the neutral family. I'll throw those in there. Also my little mini one size setting spray. So this setting spray, I use like in between steps all throughout my makeup process. This setting spray is like the last layer to really lock it in. This is a super waterproof, like mattifying setting spray. I really like this one. So I'm gonna bring both. Then there's a third setting spray. You wanna get crazy. I have my dewy setting spray, the e.l.f. Uh, dewy coconut. So I have the mattifying one and the dewy one, which is, you <laughs> which, you know, I do tend to go for a dewy look when I'm in beachy tropical locations. So I do kind of need that too. That's why I need such a big bag. Am I gonna use every single product on the trip? No, but I just like to be prepared. You know, you never know. That's why I need a separate bag for my brushes and tools. For the most part, kind of still have my brushes sitting here from before. Like I kind of left them like that and I've just been using them out of here over the past couple days. So I think everything is kind of already in here. I have all my brushes, obviously like for different steps, face brushes, eye brushes, all the things, but then I also have like my tweezers, like I said, for my um, lashes. I have my little fan that I use to dry my setting spray. I have a little mini pair of scissors because you always need that. I also have like normal tweezers in case you just need, you know, your regular tweezers for something. I keep like little hair clips in here because you know, you always need to clip your hair back when you're doing your makeup. And the final thing, I really don't use beauty blenders anymore, but I do use these little powder puffs. 
These ones are dirty. I don't know if I have, I think all my little powder puffs are dirty right now. I can't find my clean ones, but I'll pack, I'll usually pack like one or two of these as well. And then that all just like goes in here. I have some duplicates in here that I can take out, pare it down a little bit. And then I just, you know, shove it in there. <laughs> no rhyme or reason, they're not like, you know they have those makeup brush holders and I actually have a couple of them where they have individual slots that you stick each brush in. No, that just annoys me, honestly. I'd rather just have it like this because for me, it makes it easier to just open it up and be able to see what I have and not take forever to pack it back up. I think I have some extra stuff in here that I don't normally bring. <laughs> so it's like overfilled, but you guys get the point. I can go back through and pare it down. So I think there's some extra stuff in there, but I'll have this and this, and this is my makeup. Now I just need to get my packing cubes and whatnot. I have packing cubes, dust bags. I'm gonna do my duffel bag and my big suitcase. I keep all that stuff back there in the shoe dungeon. Oh Lord. All of Zaya and I's stuff is gonna go in my one suitcase. Now, when I was packing for Miami, if you saw that video, I packed quite heavy. I definitely did not pack light, but I'm happy with everything that I packed. I pretty much used everything that I put in that bag, surprisingly. But for this trip, this is family vacation. I'm gonna be gone for five days, but only there for three full days. So I really don't need to pack too crazy. We don't have any crazy plans as far as like certain activities or nice dinners. So I really just need like comfortable clothes that I can chill around the resort in. And then, you know, my swimwear and like basic stuff like that. I'm not even doing like the whole process that I did before where I was like going shopping and styling outfits and doing all that. I'm just gonna kind of like put basic stuff together. I do have, however, all my packing cubes that I'm still gonna use because I still like to be organized no matter what. Okay, first I'm gonna put Zaya's stuff in my bag so I can see like what all space I have left after that. So she has this. And then I also know that I'm gonna put my makeup in here. This is like pretty heavy and takes up a good amount of space. So I always like to put that in there so I know to work around it. Zaya has her little beach bag. I'm also gonna bring a little beach bag. This one is nice and crunchable to save space. Obviously I still have to pack like all my clothes and shoes and stuff, but something that I know that's like ready to go is my toiletries. So I can go ahead and just put that in there. I always keep my toiletry bag pretty much like pre-packed for the most part. And this is a little Apple AirTag so that I can track my luggage. Little nifty tip that my mom gave me. But my toiletry bag opens up like this. I have all my different sections. So I kind of like keep it pre-packed with little travel sizes and duplicates of everything. So I have all of my like oral care, if you will, mouthwash, toothpaste, toothbrush, all that type of stuff. Hair care, and then like miscellaneous, which I do need to make sure I have makeup wipes. I'm also gonna bring one of my makeup towel things. And then I'm gonna go to my glam room closet, because this is my little personal pharmacy that I go shopping in this closet for travel size items. I'll probably need fresh razor, and I know I need a fresh toothbrush. Anything else? I don't think so. Fresh razor, fresh pack of toothbrushes. That also just made me realize that I never packed Zaya's toiletries, which I'm glad I remembered that. She would probably be fine with just using stuff out of my bag, but well, Having said that, do I really need to even pack Zaya her own separate toiletry bag? Because the only other thing she would need besides the stuff that's already in my bag is her toothbrush, I think. And yeah, I have a pack of two in my bag already. Honestly, I don't think Zaya needs her own toiletry bag. She doesn't have her own like separate set of products that she uses that are different than mine. So I feel like we're good. But on the topic of toiletry, something that I did forget since we're going to the beach, I do have these two specific products that I wanna bring just in case I'm not able to get these out there because these are my favorite ones. This ultra sheer sunscreen and this tanning oil. I wanna bring both of these. I haven't packed this before and I don't know how susceptible this is to like spilling and exploding. I'm gonna put it in a Ziploc bag just in case. Just in case if it does leak or explode at all, at least it'll be contained. See? At least it'll be contained. 
within itself and not get all over everything else. Then I'll put that in here. Okay, so I went ahead and pulled out some of the stuff that I need to pack that came out of my dresser. So I'm gonna start putting stuff into my individual packing cubes. I think I'm gonna do this kind of small pouch for my undies and my bras and whatnot. So of course I have a variety of underwear to cover me more than cover me for the amount of days I'm gonna be there. A variety of bras, um, different you know styles for different reasons. My one like actual structured bra. And then I also like to pack a little sort of like emergency kit. This has pasties safety pins and fashion tape. And to me that kind of goes with the undergarments category. So I usually put those things in the same section like that. Then I'm gonna use another, maybe this smaller cube for my swimwear. One thing about me when I go to a beachy location like Mexico, I like to be in the water, I like to tan. I'm in my swimsuit most of the time, so I do end up like cycling through swimwear quite a bit. Like I can easily go through two swimsuits a day, but I didn't wanna to pack too crazy. So I packed like interchangeable pieces. So like these two tops can go with like interchangeably with the black bottoms, two different styles of black bottoms. These green pattern tops can go with the green solid bottoms. I have the little overskirt that goes with that one. And then I'm bringing this little scarf as a little tie cover up because it kind of matches with all of this. So all together, I think technically it's one, two, three, four. It's four separate swimsuits, but they can all be mixed and matched. So it gives me more to work with. And I'm literally just gonna pile these in here, no reason to fold them. So that's all the swimwear. I'm trying to resist putting like three more swimsuits in there because I just have a lot of swimsuits and I have a lot of different styles that I just kind of want to wear, but I feel like that's good enough. For pajamas, I'm keeping it simple. I'm bringing one little pajama set and another little comfy, just, you know, comfy shorts and a t-shirt. Boom, perfect. Pajamas, underwear, swimwear. Then I've got my bigger cubes for like my actual clothes. And then I've got like these things in my dust bags for like shoes and stuff. As far as actual clothing goes, I'm gonna do sort of like super casual versus like a tad bit more dressy. I'm not gonna pack anything like crazy dressy or glam cause it's just not that kind of trip. I'm mainly packing stuff like this, like basics basic little tank tops, my favorite basic little t-shirts, like this, I'm wearing one right now. So the other colors of those, I have like some tube tops, little crop tops. That's what I'm mainly gonna be wearing the whole time. So I'm just packing a bunch of those, boom. And then like shorts, so I have like stuff to just throw over a swimsuit, ones that are like nice to wear to the beach or whatever. You can also dress these up. I have a top that goes with it and then just like comfy, whatever. I might actually wear these to the airport, I'm debating. I think I might be cold though, cause I do get cold, so maybe I should wear long pants. But I'm gonna pack these two for sure. So those are all of my like basics and smaller things that came out of my dresser, but I still need to get the rest of my clothes from my closet, so come along. So as far as my like real clothes that are hanging up, I'm definitely gonna grab some stuff from back here. I recently reorganized my closet, so everything is all, you know, divided by type, by color and everything, hanging up all nicely. I have TikToks about it if you wanna see, but I'm definitely gonna bring some of my denim shorts, my Levi's. These ones are like a longer length. And do I need a third pair? Probably not, I guess not. For skirts, do I wanna bring any skirts? That is the question. I'm gonna pack maybe three or so nicer outfits just in case we do like go to nicer places for dinner or something like that. Like nothing too crazy, but just a little bit dressier. So I'm trying to think what I wanna bring for that. Oh, I know I definitely wanna bring these pants. I bought them especially for this trip. They're from Target. They're like a, a flowy linen pant like that, beach vibes. Definitely gonna bring these. I also have the same exact pants in this solid color. Gonna bring those. Oh, this could be a good pair of pants because I can like dress these up 
for dinner. They're a little bit more fun, ruffly, and like they have like a slight sparkle to them. So I feel like those would be good. I don't feel like I need any of my skirts. I think I might wear these like yoga pants to the airport because I know I'm gonna be cold if I wear those shorts. So I feel like something like this will be better. Super comfortable, stretchy, not like too thick and hot though. So I'm gonna put these aside for my airport outfit and I have a matching like t-shirt that goes with that. I actually have, like I could do a long sleeve if I think I'm gonna be that cold or I could do a short sleeve with a layer on top. That way I have options, which is probably a better idea because I have a short sleeve brown top that I could do with that too. From my dresses section, well, I know I wanna bring, this is not a dress, but it kind of could be because it's so long. This big satin button down, this goes with those shorts that I showed you. So I know I'm gonna bring that. This is very versatile. Like I feel like this is like a staple for a beach trip, something like this could be worn a lot of ways. And then it's a lot of stuff that I could bring, but do I need it? Do I need this crochet dress? Am I gonna wear it? We'll, we'll, we'll add it to the pile as a maybe. I ordered this for my Miami trip and it didn't come in time. So maybe I'll wear it on this trip. Oh, this is like a long maxi dress. Cute, I'm gonna bring that. And then I think this one. Don't feel like I should need any more tops from over here, do I? I don't think so. I packed a good amount of like little basic tops that can go with everything. Um, a lot of the tops hanging here are long sleeve anyway. I might bring this to go with those green pants. I feel like I'm good with just like my basic little tops. Okay, so now with everything that I just grabbed out of my closet, that's sort of like the dressier stuff, I'm gonna put it in its own cube. Couple of little flowy dresses, denim shorts for sure. I'm only bringing two pairs, a longer pair and a shorter pair, which I feel like is reasonable. Put that in the casual cube. My button down top and my three pairs of flowy pants, which I will pair like my little solid little tops with these. There's actually a matching shirt to this at Target. Kind of wish I bought it. No promises that I won't go to Target tonight and buy it, <laughs> perhaps. And I decided against both of those crochet dresses because I just really don't think I'm gonna wear them. And I don't think I need these either. Back to the closet. I hope this fits in my suitcase. <laughs> Other stuff I need to pack are sunglasses. Behold, my new sunglass display. I got these little stands on Amazon and I feel like it looks so much better than the jumbled up mess that I had over there before. Now I can like see all my sunglasses. Definitely gonna pack a few pairs of these. I need to get my, my handy dandy little glasses case thingies. I will limit myself to three pairs. Which three? These are my current favorites. So I gotta bring those. These maybe? Either these or these. I have to decide between these two because they're similar. And then a lightweight pair, which would be these or these. For variety, I'll do these, this, this, and this. I feel like that's a good variety. Let's do that. And then I just pack them in these little flat cases to take up less space, but still protect them. And I usually try to like color coat, so I put the black glasses in the black case, even though these two are the same, so I will have to check, but I can kind of feel it. Like I can feel that those are the bigger glasses in there. And then I'll know that like, this color is in this color case, so I don't have to rummage around so much when I'm looking for them. So those are the glasses. Then I need to pack some jewelry. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the jewelry, cause again, this is not that kind of trip where I'm just gonna be getting like so dressed up, but I tend to like to wear like a good stack of jewelry. So I'm just gonna put a few options. I also recently reorganized my jewelry and got these new necklace display stands, which I really like because it shows everything like one by one, nice and spread out and not tangled. You can see what you have and keep it organized. And then this is my travel jewelry case. It has different little holders and slots for everything so it doesn't get tangled. You can clip your necklaces in like that and then you're actually supposed to like thread them through like this to like really keep them straight. And then like it has a little pouch here. It has this for rings. So I just grabbed some of my favorite rings 
and then you put it like this. Slide them on. So I'll do one row of silver and then you button it to hold it and one row of gold. I have like a stack on already so I really don't need to pack as much. And I'm just gonna put some options. Maybe just this and this. This, this for bracelets. I'm gonna grab a few bracelets. I'm gonna put in here and some anklets too. These are anklets. And then earrings. Dun, dun, dun. I'm gonna do certain ones that feel a little bit more beachy for the vibes, like these. Um, I'm gonna do some small ones and a silver option, I suppose. I'm gonna put the earrings in here. Yeah, I guess that's good. And then I also have my little tiny like ear cuffs. Like this, this, I have silver and gold. I also have like all my little tiny hoops and studs, but I think this is good. And sometimes I like to put the glasses inside the jewelry thing. If it'll fit, just keep it all together and it adds a little extra layer of protection for the glasses too. Done. So my jewelry and stuff, then I have all of my packing cubes. Hopefully this fits. I may have to go back on my word and actually have Zaya bring her own suitcase if this doesn't fit or if it's too heavy, but I wanna try it. I have faith. Those are all my cubes with her cubes. I need to get my shoes. I have this booby trap set up for bougie, if you know, you know. Uh, but back here in what I like to call the shoe dungeon, I'm gonna grab mainly just like sandals. That's what I really need. So I'm gonna do like these, these, and these, I also have these. I'm just gonna bring out a few options and decide. Um, I don't think I will have any need for like a pair of sneakers. And I really don't think I'm gonna need like heels. I might bring one pair of heels just in case, like a simple nude pair that'll go with everything, like either these or these maybe? I think these will probably be best. And then I need to narrow down the sandal selection. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna end up wearing these. Since these are kind of sandy and gross and I don't feel like cleaning them right now, I'm just gonna bring my other <laughs> similar pair. So I feel like that's like a good variety. I'm gonna put them in the shoe bags. My packing cube set only came with one shoe bag, but that's why I always keep my dust bags because I just use these for the rest. Okay, this is like the last major stuff that has to go in this suitcase. Will it fit and will it be too heavy? That is the question. It fits. Zaya's clothes, my clothes, our toiletries, my makeup, miscellaneous items, her shoes, my shoes, Anything else can go in my carry-on, I feel like. What am I forgetting? I got a beach bag in there. I did not pack like cute handbags, but I don't feel like I need to. I feel like maybe one, if any, maybe I'll grab one, one little handbag. Hmm, this is gonna be a hard choice. If I wanna pick one that'll go with everything, then obviously I need to pick like a neutral, like this one would go with a lot of stuff that I've packed or like the little white one maybe. This would go with a lot of stuff I packed. But because it's a beach vacation, I'm tempted to bring like this, you know? Cause it just goes, but this is a little bit more bulky. Let's see if we can make this fit. Cause I feel like this is like the best. I also have this one, which is more flat, but like less functional, you know? It doesn't quite hang right, but this one, Right? I feel like we have to bring this one. It's pretty flat. It should fit, you know? Just shove it in there. Okay. Moment of truth. Fits. It zips. It should zip this way too. This suitcase doesn't have like the little expander thing where it like expands right here. So, gotta make it work. 
is zipped, but how heavy is it? Because it needs to be, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, I'm a little nervous. It needs to be under 50 pounds or 50 pounds is the max. Otherwise you gotta pay like $100 for that overweight charge. I have this little um, bag scale thing that's made for this purpose. You hook it on and then like lift it up off the ground to see what the scale says. Okay, ready? One, two. Ugh. What does it say? 55. <gasps> no, dang it. Five pounds over. Okay, I have an idea. I don't think we need to split it into two suitcases, but I think I can take a couple things out and put it in my like little carry-on bag, such as my makeup brushes, cause this doesn't have any liquids in it, and my jewelry case, and even, well I do need a pair of shoes to wear to the airport anyway. So I could wear one of these shoes to the airport and I could take some of the other shoes out because there's not too much else that I'm gonna have to put in this bag. In this bag, all I have right now are is my little emergency kit that I always have in here. It has like feminine products, wipes, hand sanitizer, gum, all that stuff. And then literally that's all I'll need to have in there besides just, I'm gonna put Zaya's emergency clothes in here. I'm gonna put a few snacks and I'll have like my wallet and my little AirPods, just like little small things, little personal items. Um, and then our, our passports, of course, which I have this cute little passport holder. You can get it on Amazon. So both of our passports, AirPods, just little stuff like that is gonna go in here. So I should definitely have space to put, like I said, my makeup brushes, my jewelry case. I'll probably, I'll bring, put these shoes in here. I'll wear these shoes. Zaya's clothes will go in here. Yeah, and I still have space. My toiletries and my makeup are the heaviest things, but I can't take those out. Let me check it again. I don't know if that was five pounds worth of stuff I took out, but let's see. Oh, you are just under 50. See, I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm doing pretty good. So that works. Then I have this and Zaya has her own that that okay last little thing just the last stuff that i'm going to be putting in my duffel bag zaya's little emergency kit which i always like to put in a ziploc just in case because if she does end up needing to use this we can put her dirty clothes back into this bag i'll put that in there and then another ziploc bag for snacks mainly for zaya to keep her occupied during like we have a pretty long car ride to the airport, then you're waiting around in the airport, then you're on the plane. It's just nice to have snacks when you're traveling with kids. Of course, you can always like buy stuff at the airport, but it's so like overpriced and everything. And Zaya's a picky eater. So it's just, it just makes me feel better to know that I have stuff that she likes already in my bag like that. Make sure all the air is out so they are compact. And then I just, you know, make sure I have my last minute things, you know, our passports, I'll make sure I have my wallet, my ID, everything like that. My AirPods, like I said, my, of course my phone, my phone charger, uh, maybe an extra charger since Zaya has her iPad, all those kind of like tech things. And I think that's it. So we are off to Mexico tomorrow morning. <laughs>